We're starting to get a lot of dinner ready for the class. It smells good. Shepherd's pie before breakfast. Mm-mm-mm. Olivia's favorite. Yeah. You excited, Libby's? This is really for the... For dinner? Yeah, after. Yeah, after the class. Probably want everything prepared so that we don't have to worry about that. Right. Now they'll be running around crazy right now getting all of our meals ready and prepared so that way when the class is going on and after the class, we don't have to be running around all crazy. more salt, and then they'll be good. Over here. Try it. Yummy. They good? Yeah. Perfect. Oh. I just like the scoop, and then so I can get so I'm just gonna scoop. Oh, you gotta scoop it. You don't want me to. Well, not yet. I just like to like kind of get it. Plop it. Spread it out. Spread it. We got all the cooking preparations done that we can get done for the class. Now we gotta go outside. I need to. Get some of the plows moved around. We gotta split some kindling and get some firewood ready for the class. <laughs> this is one of my new favorite sites. Let me show you. You got the chickens and with the pigs. Nothing again. We got a well summer there. We got Rufus inside the IBC tote. How you girls doing? a frozen ice block. You have to take the plow off and use the bucket. Watch, look at this one. It's like an iceberg. See the ice in the bottom? Crazy.
believe it or not, all this wood is left over from when we built our house in 2015. And here it is 2018. We still got kindling left. So we're gonna get a lot of this cut up and brought up to the outdoor kitchen and we'll use it during the class to keep warm. that time for lunch. The girl should be home shortly from running around doing some errands. Let's get the soup warmed up. I'll make a good lunch on a chilly day. Nice chicken barley soup. Mmm. It's kind of chilly up now. It was warmer earlier. It was warmer when we were out grocery shopping. Yeah. And then I go inside to start cleaning up and I'm like, what the heck? Where'd the sun go? That was a good lunch. I love it when you can get like three or four meals out of one chicken. <laughs> You can stretch it and make it go a long way. See the chickens, they're all over the place. I love that. All right, let's get the outdoor kitchen stocked with firewood. I don't know what I'd do without my Kubota. What are you doing? Crazy chickens. Got our load of hardwood, newspaper, and a bunch of kindling. We got this big old 23 gallon stock pot. I hope I can hang it and kick it up out of the way. I think that works. We got the other 10 gallon or eight gallon stock pot. I'll hang that one over there. One of the nice things about the outdoor kitchen being made out of solid wood is I can hang hooks wherever I want. If I don't like them, take them out and hang them somewhere else. We'll leave the rest of cleaning up of the outdoor kitchen till the day before. We got the chairs, the other chair, and the grill. We'll leave those in till the day before. So that way with the unclimate weather being cold, we don't have them outside. I think I'm ready to put the plow on my truck, get that out of the upper driveway. We move the snow banks around. We did a pretty good job with that. I think that'll melt pretty good. It's supposed to be in the 40s and 50s this week. Woohoo! So this will finish melting up good. So that's a good thing. But Alright, let's get the plow on the truck and we'll get that. Well, in the end, we're a lot done. That was a mess. I hope that's the
the last time this season I have to do that. doing that again. I'm gonna have to move it, but spring will be here. Summer will be here before we know it. I'm getting excited for the three-day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class that's gonna be here before you know it. We're gonna be eating some delicious food. I can't wait and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. Bye.